Igniting the coldest elixir well is no joke. Even finding where to go is a challenge in this one. I'm going to walk you through it. Once you've completed the ancient spire, this mission will pop up to reach the elixir well. Before you head off, you want to make sure that you're prepared. You are going to be in the mountains. So for frost protection, you're going to want to take some food that has frost protection, preferably some of the new recipes if you have them yet. You can take along a pocket heater to give you a little extra time. Having armor with frost protection, of course, is always going to help. And if you found one, you could use your ring of frost. Of course, we're also going to be going into the shroud. So make sure you're prepped for that as well. I'd also recommend taking as many wisp of light along with you because it's going to be pretty dark in there. The elixir well that you're going to is northeast of the ancient spire in the Albany summits. You'll also have a mission just to the east of here at the Forge of Obsidia. And so you may already have something in the area. If you've been over here like I was, you can just jump across into the shroud. But if you don't have something in place, we're just going to jump from the spire down into the middle here. You can see the edge of the platform. I'll set a waypoint there. Come out the east side. I'm going to jump and aim to go up this canyon. It's better to land on the right side because there's a road over here. Run all the way to the top. You can take out those guys or you can just run past them. Now we're into the shrouded area. Take a left and I'm going to jump on these rocks. And I'm just going to jump and fly over all this stuff to make it to the platform. If you look on the map, there's this little piece of bridge looking stuff. You can go to the edge of this. I'm gonna run past and ignore these guys. I really think it's easier to come from where the blacksmith mission is. Just because you don't gotta deal with these guys on the way. Now we're at our save point. So I'm gonna stand here and get my shroud time up. I'm gonna head forward and there's gonna be baddies that are gonna meet me on this bridge. Lots of little ones and one big one. Oh, and you. Take out all the little baddies. Can stop where there's a hole here. The grate has moved and there's a chest underneath. You need a lockpick for. And now our big guy is out. Time to take him out. Ooh. Once they're all dead, we're going to go forward into the gate. Down the stairs. Down the stairs again. We get to the edge of this hall right here. When you see these torches and cranes in the distance, take left. Over here to the side of those stairs, there's a little hole. You can come in here and there's a book and we're going to come back to the front where the torches are. So when you're facing the torches from the entrance, if you go down the left stairs, down again to the right, you get to the next level down. There'll be a couple baddies here. There's a hook there to get back up when you want it. But right here on this platform, there's no shroud damage. You're clear from shroud. So as you're trying these things, if you run out of shroud time or get close, you can come to this platform to get your shroud time back up again. Now that I'm down on this level, I'm going to go underneath the center column and over to the right side. When I come out on the right side, I can see over here there's this big round crane thing to get there. Let me do another light. There's a beam here you can walk across stairs to walk up. Go to the front edge going forward. 
Let's stand on the very edge. There's some steam rising right there. It's going to be tempting to try and take it to get to the top where we're trying to get up there. You can see a shroud right up there. But that steam shaft is not going to take you high enough. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to come to this very tippy tippy corner. And if you look carefully right ahead of me, there's a break in the wall and you can see a platform over there. There is a place to land back there. There's land behind it. So we're going to jump, fly through this hole and land on the land back there. And of course, be ready to fight when we do. I'm going to zoom out because I find it easier to fly that way. And here we go. There's going to be an updraft. Let it take you up. Use the updraft yourself if you have to. And here we go. This is not the uh, shroud that you can see from the first place. This is not the root you can see from the first place. This is a different one. So we'll chop this down. Get a breather. Break from the shroud. Get a skill point for taking out that tree. Now we're going to come back to the edge. There's this platform right in front of us with the hook on the end of it. Don't fall down there. If you fall down there, you're probably going to die in the lava and not be able to use the hook to get back up. Instead, from where the shroud root was, we're going to go to the right. And there's this other platform right here. That, if you look across, there's another shroud root on the other side. When you use this up vent to get across and be ready to fight. Here we go. Land and fight. There's going to be several bug spawners you need to take out. Remember to, have to blow up the fire bugs far away if you can. There is also ice over here. So be careful where you're stepping. There's one directly in front of it and there's one on either side. Take this out so I can see better and you'll get another skill point for that. And four. I didn't remember there being four. So now you can get your shroud time up again. For this next part, you want to check and make sure that you have all your food eaten, any potions that you're going to drink. I would get a light going on me. And you might want to be ready to throw some greater summoning skulls to help you along the way. Check your frost resist time. Make sure that you have enough time without needing to go take a break. We're going to walk up the hill from where the shroud root was. Behind it. And up here we can see a place to grab on and go upstairs. Be ready to go before you fly up there. Here we go. Gonna throw some skulls to help me out and start shooting. Cause there he is. Once you get inside, there's gonna be little guys in here attacking him too. The skulls do a great job in distracting him. Watch out for him thro throwing that stuff at you. Ow. I tend to go in circles. And down he goes. Thanks, friends. And then you get another shroud root. Lots of skill points for this one. You'll be able to get all the excellent Cyclops guts. And if you go from his body to the north, take out a few bugs there and come around this corner. Here's the hidden chest. Epic. Once the shroud's gone, you can teleport back from here or... You can go and jump off from this platform, which will take you right back to the entrance. Leave a like if you found this helpful. And if you like Get to the Point guides, consider subscribing for more Enshrouded. Until next time, happy gaming.